A lot of us are ready to get out, and there's good reason for that. KCTV 5's Neil Jones has tonight's top five. Maybe it's too many days stuck in my Gnarlwood Acres home, or legal problems stemming from my wife illegally cutting my hair with dog shears. But I've been depressed. Maybe we need a little reminder of what's out there waiting for us when this COVID-19 battle finally ends. So here are my top five reasons to love life here in Kansas City. Number five, downtown. 20 years ago, the only reason for TV crews to come to downtown Kansas City was to cover a crime story. But the Sprint Center changed that. It led to power and light, attracting dozens of bars and restaurants, which in turn made our now famous free streetcars possible. Dozens of buildings have gone up, and downtown living is very much in vogue. Number four, great food. Let's start with the obvious. Kansas City's the barbecue capital of the world. But that's just the tip of the restaurant iceberg. We've got dozens of iconic spots, like Garozo's. In fact, Mother's Day here at Garozo's is a Jones family tradition. Hey, if the Pope ever tries their chicken spadini, he'll move the Vatican to North Kansas City. And it's been said that Kansas City has more great Mexican restaurants than Mexico. Hey, every town's got the same old national restaurant chains, but how many cities have town topping? Number three, local destinations. Since Midtown Kansas City reinvented itself as the Crossroads District, it's become one of the area's most popular spots. We've got one-of-a-kind museums like the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art and one of my favorite spots, the World War I Museum. To many, Wyandotte County was just a place to be avoided. But thanks to Nebraska Furniture Mart, Kansas Speedway, and the Legends, it's now a destination. And Martin City's become a hot spot with great food and drink. Or is it drink and food? Number two, one community. Kansas City used to be dominated by the state line. Nothing could get done. Kansans helped pack Arrowhead and Kaufman, but it was Missouri residents who had to build and maintain the stadiums. That is until the history-making by state tax was passed, and suddenly all things seemed possible. Union Station was renovated. Kaufman and Arrowhead underwent upgrades. We finally felt like one city, not two separate states. And the number one reason to love Kansas City? Our spirit. Usually that's something you can't see. But thanks to the 800,000 fans who packed downtown for the Royals parade and the half million who braved freezing weather for the Chiefs parade, our spirit's there for the whole country to see. We've got Jazoo, which mixes dangerous animals with food and liquor, and Art Bra, which mixes food and drinks with bras. This town's got a lot to offer. But when I turned in this story, our assistant news director, who hates top five, told me it was too nice and needed a little more Neil in it, which is not what I'm used to hearing. Neil, get lost. Can you help me attach this to my email? You're an idiot. So look out, I promise to be a lot more Neil next week. So that's this week's top five. <laughs> you know, Gary, I got a text from Neil uh, today saying, hey, do you have any uh, snarky ideas? So I don't know, do you have any snarky ideas for Neil to tackle next week? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I've got to put my mind to that. And, uh, you know what? If I, if, I could only, if I could only learn how to attach it to an email, I would send it to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> provided he'd know how to open it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But hey, you but know yeah. what? That story, though, it does give you such a sense of pride for the community that we live in. And, and it's going to be wonderful when things are able to reopen. Well, it really helped that the Royals are world champs and the Chiefs are now too. So <laughs> yes. you know, that gives you a sense of pride as well. <laughs>